Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and we've got a plastic sprue in front of us. This is the new Killaboss, not Killaboss, not Killabossa, which is what I think I read it as originally. This is the Killaboss with Stab Grot. And I have no idea what's what, number one, because I guess I'm holding it upside down, but number two, because I got this online, I did not need the entire box. And I have no directions to go with it. So, fun, right? Actually, I'm not too worried. Nice big shield. Nice custom base topper. Assuming that's going to go on one of their bases. Workfoot, Cruel Boys. I love his helmet. So pointy and spiky. Stab grot body. Stab grot head. I like his helmet. Looks like a gladiator, but gives me a bit of a Nurgling vibe. Some of those death... Not death plague. Death guard. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I'm not too worried. Uh, it doesn't look too complex. Thankfully, it is push fit. Although, I will say that the last few push fit kits from the Underworlds line, I've been getting quite agitated with because they just are super flimsy super thin parts to me that kind of defeats the point of push fit if i have push fit stuff i wanted to actually push together and i don't need to get you know needle nose pliers to kind of push everything and nudge it together uh, i really had a hard time with the edeneth guys it was really annoying but anyway i digress besides that i've got a bag of bolt boys i think that's what they're called i don't even know the dudes with the giant crossbows just a bunch of parts. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not going to name names, but it is nice when I know what I'm... Okay, no, that's not the right body. Or is it? I don't know. Looks like each one is like a front and a back. A main body for their weapon. And then the rope and arrow contraption part. Obviously, I don't know my crossbow terminology. They don't look that complex, actually. It looks like their quivers are actually attached to the body. So that's not that bad. Like, four parts? We'll figure it out. So, give me a moment. We'll put them together. I'll grab a whole bunch of other orcs that I've got laying around. And we'll see how everything stacks up. Alright, we got our Killaboss all put together here. And sadly, I've, well, not sadly, but funnily, I've noticed that we've got the official announcement for the new Warhammer starter sets. And of course, the smallest entry level one includes this guy. Hopefully, I didn't overpay for him, but nonetheless, I'm happy to have him. He's pretty big, even though he's got a case of what I like to refer to as Kador legs. Legs are very short and stubby. Much like all of Kador's Warjacks, or just Warjacks in general, if you're going to talk about Iron Kingdom stuff from Privateer. That's one of my big nitpicks with their mechs, but that's a whole different argument for a whole different time. So, how does our Killaboss stack up to everybody? Well, I went ahead and got his Manslayer Bolt Boys, or whatever they're called, put together. They weren't as bad as I was fearing. They're fun little models, I gotta say. I love how they're just draped with all of their cloaks and gear. Quite sneaky and deceptive looking. Cunning, if we're gonna use uh, orc terms. Yeah, I can see how a lot of people have made those Lord of the Rings impressions with those faces. Very much like the tabletop ones. I like them though. How I'll paint them is anybody's guess. But you can see our Killaboss here is quite a bit taller. I don't know if that is due to the fact that he's standing on the dead Stormcast detailed terrain piece there or not. But that always helps when you have a nice little bit of scenic basing. And here is the real MVP art gladiatorial stab grot on a 25mm base. That's a 20, sorry. These guys are on 32s? 
they look like 32s well he's on a 40. speaking of 40 millimeter base models then let's take a look at how they compare to your standard typical stormcast we don't have any of those new fancy ones yet you can see here he looks like he's going to put a pretty good fight grabbing some iron jaws so while they've got the bulk I don't think they necessarily have the height that we're going to see with these new guys. Using Hrothgore or whatever his name is, the ogre from Underworlds. Makes me wonder if in the future, very near future, like in the next season, we might see a Cool Boys warband. I bet you we will. They might be fun hanging out with him in a totally unrelated gaming system. Of course, if we're going to have them gaming, we might as well have a Conquest. Wow, he's almost as big as the Conquest model. But again, he's got that extra scenic base element there, giving him a little leg up. Maybe let's have a bunch of crossbow boys. Non-human crossbowers. I don't know. But overall, looks like he's going to be a fun model, and for as worried as I was about putting him together, he really wasn't that bad. And I should mention also that this flail in his hand is actually an optional bit. It's not glued in there. He can carry a shield, which I left in the other room. But it's a shield. <laughs> I think you saw it anyway when I was showing off the sprue. So, nice little kit. I would recommend, if you want to get one, I would hold out till those starters are actually available, because... Well, it'd probably be cheaper in the long run, plus you get a few other extra goodies. Didn't it come with the stab grot, hob grots? I don't remember. But all I knew is it had him in there for sure. So maybe I'm going to end up with two of them. Maybe I'll have one with the flail, one with the shield. That might be a fun alternative. And then we can have them for all sorts of other games as well. So a definite promising start to third edition. And I am looking forward to seeing some of the other actual regular built models like the crazy looking swamp sloths and all that fun stuff so hopefully we'll see them in the near future with that said this has been high lord tamberlane with obscurities and miniatures saying thanks for watching and we will see you back here soon Bye bye